Creating lettering is so easy in Hatch. Just click the lettering tool and type your text. I'll show you how in this video. I'm Lindy Goodall, and as a digital font collector since 1984, I love the choices we have in Hatch to add lettering to any design. We're here in Manage Designs, and you can see some of the designs I've created in Hatch using lettering, and most of these are using the ready-made fonts. Lettering can be very simple, such as this one, which was done for a confirmation dress slip. You might also add text to a ready-made designs like the sticky buns. This one was done for a baby diaper cover-up, or your design might be composed mostly of text, such as this change the needle, change the thread design. Let's take a closer look to see what's possible by opening up a few of these. I'll click Open Selected and they'll all open up in their own tab. Let's start with Change the Needle. This one looks pretty fancy, but most of this text was done right in Hatch just by typing and picking a font and applying an effect to it. This one uses some of the lettering artifacts. If I open up the Sequence Docker, we can see that this is a text block, this is a text block, and this is a text block. And I know that because they have this A. We're on the Objects group, so all of these letters, this word, is one object. This letter is no longer really a letter. It started out that way, but I broke it apart so I could play around with it and try different stitch effects. Although it started out as a letter, if I needed to edit it, change it to a different letter, I would actually have to delete this. Whereas with these letters, because I can just double click them, click on the lettering tab, I could actually change this text. This is an in the hoop doggy bandana. I know I made a bunch of these for Christmas last year for my dog Riley and his little furry friends. And to create the other ones, all I had to do after I got this all laid out and organized was to select the text and retype. And now I have the next dog's bandana. This Einstein quote takes advantage of the ability to stitch from left to right, as we read, and from right to left. And we just do that with the click of a button. And it's right here. So you can see that this line stitches in the normal direction, but this line stitches in the reverse. Why would we do that? It minimizes the frame movement. And by minimizing frame movement, we can improve registration. Now here's a birth announcement. And like the doggy bandana, this is a template file. So when I have a new baby to make an announcement for, all I have to do is change the names, change the weight, change the date, and we're good to go. I've already spent the time laying this out, and by just editing the design, so maybe I have Rebecca, and I should have done that in all caps, you can see that Rebecca takes up that same space that Samuel did. So let's undo. There's Samuel, and then we had Rebecca before. See this interesting texture here on Samuel? This is the new elastic fill that's in the digitizer version. If you're using a different level, you may not have all the options I'll demo in this video. So this design is made up almost entirely of text. We have this motif of the French knots, but other than that, it's all text. And you can see that over here in the objects panel on the sequence bar. One last design we'll look at, pacified and satisfied. Let's zoom that up a bit. This text looks kind of interesting how it's laid out. It was a piece of cake. All I had to do was type my three lines in one text block, and then I applied this effect. And it arced the top line, arced the bottom line, and put the center as its own straight line. And if we find the text in here, we can see that even though I typed it as three lines in one text block, it's now split it up so each one of these can be moved around or changed to color, that sort of thing. The tools in Hatch are really powerful and creative. Now that you see what can be done, let's see how to do it in a new document.